What are some diabetic superfoods? We know that a superfood is a good food, especially for diabetic patients. We know it's very high in nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and all the elements that we want in a food. So we know that superfoods are not only healthy, but they also do not spike up blood sugar levels. For diabetic, you can't get any better than that. The best of both worlds. Before we get started though, if you are new, please consider subscribing to my channel. Comment below, share other foods that you think are awesome for diabetes. So let's get started with the number one food, which is beans. The kidney, pinto, navy, or black beans are packed with vitamins and minerals, such as magnesium and potassium. They are also very high in fiber, so we know that they are nutritious, but also they don't cause such a spike in blood sugar levels. We know that things that are high in fiber actually help reduce our blood sugar spike after we eat. They tend to make us feel more full. Remember that beans do contain carbohydrate, but half a cup also provides as much protein as an ounce of meat without the saturated fat. Although you may see a little bit of a spike after eating beans, it's not going to be significant. And number two is dark green leafy vegetables. Spinach, collards, and kale are packed with vitamins and minerals such as vitamins A, C, E, and K, iron, calcium, and potassium. We know that they're very low in calories and carbohydrates, so we know that they're very healthy, packed with so many beneficial nutrients. Another one is citrus fruit, things like grapefruits, oranges, lemons, and limes. These tend to be very high in fiber, vitamin C, folate, and potassium. For that reason, citrus fruits are actually recommended. Another favorite is berries. Of course, blueberries, strawberries, and any variety that you like because they are packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and fiber. They are a great option to satisfy our sweet tooth as well. And they can provide a lot of benefit of vitamin C, vitamin K, manganese, potassium, and fiber. Again, making us feel more full and not causing such a spike in blood sugar levels after we eat them. Tomatoes are also a very good option. You can eat tomatoes however you want, raw or in a form of tomato sauce. If These are very vital because they have a lot of vitamin C, vitamin E, and potassium, which are very important elements for our overall health. Fish that is high in omega-3 fatty acids are also a great option. We know that these can help reduce the risk of heart disease and inflammation. And of course, fish behind these healthy fats are sometimes referred to as fatty fish. Salmon is well known, obviously, to be high in omega-3 fatty acids. Other fish can include uh, sardines, trout, and albacore tuna. Obviously, choose fish that is broiled, baked, or grilled because you want to avoid the carbohydrate and extra calories that would be in fish that is breaded or fried. The American Diabetes Association recommends having one of these fish at least twice a week for people who have diabetes, but also for everyone else alike. And nuts are also a very good option. An ounce of nuts can go a long way because it can help manage hunger. In addition, they offer magnesium and fiber. And some nuts and seeds, such as walnuts and flax seeds, are a good source of omega-3 fatty acids. For that reason, these are actually very good healthy options. And not to forget our whole grains, of course. Uh, if you wanna know if something is whole grain, you always want to make sure you're reading that the first word on the ingredient section says whole. Otherwise, you're probably being fooled by the food industry because they're always trying to label things as whole grain, even if they are not. So the best indicator is to make sure that the first ingredient says whole, and that's how you're going to know that you're buying something whole grain. You know that they are very rich in vitamins and minerals and, ma and magnesium, B vitamins, chromium, iron, and folate. And of course, they are very high in fiber, and I can't overemphasize how good fiber is for us. Some examples would be like whole oats, quinoa, whole grain barley, and farro as well. So those you can eat safely because you're not only getting the benefit of all of the nutrients that they provide, but also from a diabetes perspective, they don't spike up your blood sugar levels as much, although they, are, they still do contain carbohydrates. So you will see some spike, but because they're healthier, um, and they have a lot more fiber, you won't see that significant spike. And believe it or not, diabetics can still have milk and yogurt. And we know that they, uh, milk and yogurt have a lot of calcium, which are important for our bones and our teeth. And these are also fortified, which make them a very good source for vitamin D. We want to be mindful that milk and yogurt do contain carbohydrates. 
So we want to make sure we're limiting our intake of these um, not to go too crazy. We can spike up our blood sugar levels. So I normally do not recommend having cereal with milk because cereals already have so much sugar on their own. Adding more milk is not going to be a good option. But having a yogurt and adding some healthy protein or chia seeds to the yogurt is a much healthier option and can make for a very good breakfast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until I see you next time, diabetes fam, please stay healthy and happy. I'll see you all on the next video.